high as second in the nation and is a global competitor. He's also a coach. He does it right out of his home in Akron. He took yours truly under his wing. Now, I have never been good at this game. So at first he was just trying to get me to hit it back and forth. Lean forward and then just keep that angle set and go straight forward like that. See, you didn't forget. That was basic. Nothing like spin involved. Well, the ball can spin up to 8,000 RPMs, and it can spin in multiple different directions. Top spin, back spin, side spin, corkscrew spin. So it can spin not only different directions, but it can spin a combination of spins as well. So that's the tricky thing, is learning how to read it, and then learning how to react to it, and then prepare for another ball less than a second later. So basically, you just learn top spin and back spin to start with. So you'd go like this, put your hand down, you'd spin up like that, that would be top spin, or you'd start your racket like this and cut down for back spin. Those are the two basic ones that you need to master within the first two or three years. Finally, I got one. Perfect. Sit in the back and see how the ball stop. Yeah. After that, he worked on the smash, which started with an unusual drill. Don't blink. Look at the ball. Look at the ball. Okay, you have to look at the ball. The smash was not as bad as I expected. Okay, actually, why don't you just start close? You don't need to step right now. After okay. you get it down, then you can take a step. Cool. That's pretty good for a first try. Very good. Uh-huh. That's it. Nice one. I got better, but I still needed some help. So Samson went into the bag of tricks. We're going to play for real here, okay? But look at the rackets. I've got what he calls the pizza paddle, and he's using that thing that looks like a lollipop. He killed me. lot of fun and table tennis really isn't my thing. Oh. If it is your kind of thing, go to OhioPingPong.com for more info. Samson coaches, he runs tournaments, he's got something for everybody. That's his six-year-old daughter Fiona. She could already beat a lot of people. He's a good dude. He's fun around that table. All right, before we go, how about this from last night? Division two basketball in Georgia. Mike State host.